The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, has called on Nigeria to urgently boost funding for health and education to secure the nation's future and meet global standards. Despite slight budget increases in 2024, the country's allocations, 7.9% for education and 5% for health, fall woefully below UNESCO's recommended 15-20%, to leaving millions vulnerable. The unveiling of the State of Nigeria's Children Report on World Children's Day celebration today, November 20, 2024 in Abuja, with the theme listing to the future. The future beckons with promises and light, guiding us through darkness and light, where love, kindness, and hope leads the way, embracing tomorrow and starting today. Listen to the future. There are real people out there. These are real challenges that we are facing. UNICEF and UN representatives revealed that 41 newborns out of every 1,000 die before their 28 days and 40% of children suffer from stunting, compromising their development, with less than four doctors per 10,000 people worldwide and a severe lack of social workers and teachers, emphasizing that transformative investment in early life nutrition and education are vital to reversing this crisis. Stakeholders at the event proposed innovative solutions urging Nigeria to act swiftly and collectively to close these gaps and create a brighter future for its children. Draw attention to the Action 34 of the Pact of the Future, being a commitment by UN member states, including Nigeria, and that was adopted only last September in New York. It says, I quote, we will invest in the social and economic development of children and young people so they can reach their full potential. This includes achieving universal health care coverage for children and young people, accessing to safe, inclusive, equitable, and quality education opportunity, including in emergency and throughout their life. We must increase investment on education so every child has a right to learn and thrive. This report is not only numbers. It is reality. It is analysis. Analysis. It shows us, you know, where we need to make strides and make urgent shifts and make work, accelerate work. For example, we've seen as well um, positive trends. Where we've seen how birth registration uh, has moved, and uh, you know the gap is closing. But we really need to be very ambitious to reach the target because we dream for a prosperous Nigeria. The prosperity of Nigeria should start with children. We must work together to ensure that our resources reach the most vulnerable children. We need government to lead from the front. For the last one year, we have advocated that a, a compact with the Nigerian child be signed. The compact should have clear targets. And we've, we've debated the targets with the ministries, health, education, youth, women affairs, and our colleagues at the level of the technical layer of the ministry agree with us that these are important numbers. These numbers will change the budget. Representing the Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Dr. Emeka Obi, highlighted the administration's of every commitment to mobilizing resources for sustainable interventions aimed at reducing poverty and enhancing child welfare. One of the government aspirations in the National Development Plan 2020-2025 and the Renewed Hope Agenda is to reduce poverty through social protection programs and improve the situation of children in the country. As a government, we will achieve this through accelerated, sustained, inclusive economic growth and social protection and initiatives. UNICEF has said that prioritizing investment in children is not only a moral duty, but a strategic imperative for Nigeria's development, urging that placing children at the center of national policies is key to shaping a brighter future for generations.
This is Okushi, QTV News, Nigeria. Jump.